Sorry, you're late again. Come on, lads, keep it going. Okay, keep moving. Listen carefully, this is very important. The Regional Boxing Association are sending along an up and coming boxer. Please make sure you're here on time and don't let me down. Harry, make sure you wear your lipstick. This is a special occasion. <laughs> I want to do something I enjoy, like coaching again. Coaching isn't a real job. You need to sort out your priorities. Look at Harriet. She'll never stick at boxing. Look at what happened to you. You got pregnant with Harriet, and that was it. No matter how much your dad wanted you to be a champion like him, he's not here anymore to fill her head with... Just shut up, Jeff. It was you that persuaded me to stop boxing, not Harriet. Harriet, I got your school report today. What's happening with your grades? Hello to you too. And your training was fine today. Thanks for asking, Mum. Don't you speak to your mother like that. Who do you think you are? Harry. Go on, my son. That's it. Left him. OK. Have a rest. Watch it, you're going to smudge your lips there. Careful, you smudge your blusher. Oh, no, wait, that's where you've got a beating. <laughs> Look, I think it's unfair how they treat you. The coach just got the hump because your granddad used to be the champ, and obviously everyone loved him before he like, you know. And Greg just acts up because the coach is his granddad. Spare me your pity. Save it for someone who needs it. Okay. Our guests would sure be arriving. So be on your best behaviour. Show him what you can do, if you've got anything to show. <clears throat> and who are you? Becky Henley. The ABA sent me, I'm your guest boxer for today. Let's get started then. We wanted to show you what the boys can do. Clear the ring. Not you, Greg, come here. Who's up for the challenge? Fine, put your gloves on. One, two, one, two. <laughs> come on, Harry, punch it. You're getting caught too much. Counterpunch. That's enough. 